All right, so uh, I wanted to show you guys a bunch of CSS styling stuff. So last video I showed you fonts, so I'm gonna mark that one as checked off. Uh, we're gonna look at some text styling in this video. So I've got a bunch of properties that uh, I wanna make sure to talk about, uh, and then a couple of other videos that I wanna shoot. So let me minimize, or let me keep this up, because I'll probably forget to, to do one of those. Uh, all right, so, CSS is a programming language, and similar to having like, you know, if I were learning Spanish, maybe a Spanish-English dictionary where I could look everything up, a reference, we can actually find a reference for CSS. And so we've been using this W3 sites a lot, and they actually have a really good reference. So if we search W3 CSS ref for reference, or ref, you could type the whole word out, but I'm lazy, uh, then it's going to have a whole reference for CSS properties here that we can actually use any one of uh, in order to, to create a new effect. So there's, like every effect you've ever seen on the internet is basically built using this stuff right here. So uh, how do we focus our attention uh, for this video? Well, let's see, font size is one. All right, so let me do a font size here. Uh, okay, font size. So if we click font size, uh, it looks like it gives us some hints as to how that should look. And what I'm modeling here is this nice feature of programming where you can just look stuff up. Uh, so I'm just gonna go with this one because pixels is what I'm used to. Um, you can experiment with these, but let's do that one. So I'm working with the CSS now, so I should go into the CSS. I want my H1 to be a lot bigger. So I'm gonna press enter. It looks like, okay, it's font dash size. And uh, oh, that's so cool. REPL starts to automatically uh, incorporate that as well. Um, so let me start off with something like 40 pixels because that sounds kind of big to me uh, for a font. Uh, okay, cool. That's great. Um, we can make it larger. So 60 pixels. Awesome. Cool. About me. Nice. Uh, awesome. I think that looks kind of how I want it to look. Um, so that's how font size works. And you don't have to just do that to your H1. You can copy and paste this and I don't know, maybe let's make a selector for H2 as well. Uh, 30 pixel, no, oh, that seems, yeah, 30 pixels. There's like kind of a guess and check here, right? Uh, 30 pixels didn't really do very much, so maybe 40 pixels to make it even larger for that H2. Yeah, the H2 is much larger now. And here, if we go to the main page and we refresh it, yeah, it's clearly larger. Now, I also want to center that. Uh, so I know I taught you this in a different video, but I'll go with a text align center kind of in the theme of the, the font video. It makes sense to talk about that now. So now we've got our H2 centered when I do a command R, a refresh here. Uh, okay, cool, so that's font size. All right, next up is line heights. All right, so uh, let me pop over to uh, this one and you can scroll down here in line height. It looks like there's a bunch of other ones like list style that might be interesting for some people, but I'm going with line height. Uh, so Line height, none of these have the pixel one, but I'm just gonna try it, because I like pixels. Uh, it's the measurement that I'm most useful. So I think I would like my line height to be taller in the each, in the paragraphs maybe? Uh, so let me do that here. Line height, uh, and I'm gonna go with like 15 pixels here. And it's kind of guess and check, right? Even if I put a ridiculous number, like 150 pixels, let me try that, 150 pixels. Okay, it's a ridiculous number, it looks really bad. It doesn't permanently ruin the website or anything. Uh, you just try a different number, a smaller number, so 15 pixels. I'll run it. All right, 15 is a little too scrunched, so maybe like a 25 pixels would be better. All right, I like the way that looks a lot. That's a little bit more spaced out, a little easier to read. Um, so I'm enjoying that. I'll go over to my main page here, and I'll do a command R refresh, and I think that looks better as well. Uh, so next up on our list here is, uh, is letter spacing. All right, so letter spacing is the distance between the letters. And this about me right here, this looks a little bit scrunched up. So I'm gonna pop over to my W3 schools. Uh, it looks like letter spacing may not be a thing. Uh, oh, here it is, letter spacing. I just can't spell letter spacing. Okay, kind of what we would expect. So for the H1 here, we'll go in, and just like all of these kind of, I think part of the idea is that they all look very similar. So we'll do a letter spacing, and notice the autocomplete in REPL. 
was pretty nice. So I press enter, it will auto complete that. And maybe like five pixels, let's try. So that will be five pixels in between each letter. All right, let's see how that looks. Uh, I don't know, uh, it's decent. Um, we can do something like 10 pixels just to make it like outrageous. All right. I think that kind of highlights what's happening here with the letter spacing and you can apply that to not just the H1. This property value pair or different value could be applied to any of the elements, which is pretty cool. So that's how that works. And uh, the last one here is uh, text transform. So I might want my H2 to be all uh, like uppercase or all lowercase. So let me take a look at text transform and see how that looks. Now, uh, here's a cool feature of W3 schools that we haven't really experimented with. It gives you like some examples which make this super easy. I see an uppercase, a lowercase, a capitalize. I can scroll down further and uh, here are all the values. Uh, no transformation, capitalize, uppercase, lowercase, initial and inherit. Initial and inherit uh, would just basically mean like it's a uh, default value or like inheriting from another one. We're not gonna worry too much about those. But these three are the other possible values that I could put for that property, just like they're up here. So let me press try it yourself and we can take a look at how this looks. If we run it, uh, here's capitalized. So I guess that capitalizes the first letter. Lowercase makes them all lowercase and uppercase makes them all uppercase. That kind of makes sense. I think I want my H2 to be all uppercase. So I'll go into my H2, add one more line here text transform uppercase and uh, if I close out this window that matches the example here which is kind of cool run it and uh, yeah now I've got my h2 capitalized all right so kind of using a combination of these four things uh, you have a lot of the basic styling that you might want to add to some text uh, maybe maybe one other. Okay, I just thought of it. Uh, we can add in text decoration, which is one that we've actually seen before from our links video. Uh, so let me put an underline on this. So eventually you start to memorize these, or you start to like kind of memorize these, which is what I have. So text decoration. Oh, and you know what? Let's actually, let's be crazy here. Instead of always making our H1 underlined, Let's make it so that when we hover over it, it gets the underline. So to do that, we add our h1 colon hover selector, and that will say whenever we hover over the h1, it will give it an underline. I like this. So text decoration. Oh, wow, that, that wasn't coming up right. Let's see. Text decoration. Oh, I, maybe I misspelled something. Underline. And now this should be really cool. So that when we hover, yeah, now it gets the underline when we hover. I kind of, that's kind of awesome. And you can actually have a lot of fun with these hover things. So let me just do one more here. Uh, let's add a hover to the H2. And so that when we hover over the H2, uh, we can do a text, not a text decoration. Let's make it so the letters get super wide out when you hover over it and it looks really strange. So the letters getting wide out would be letter spacing. Okay. So I'm just going to go and copy my old letter spacing line because I know my format is going to match that. But I don't want to just apply this to the H2 always. I want to apply this when I hover over the H2. So let's make the spacing in between the letters be like a 20 when we hover over it. All right. So here we go. I'll refresh this page. About me gets the, eight, gets the underline when we hover over it. And then a website about Carrie pops out like that. That's actually super cool. I dig that. All right. And that's kind of the, uh, the end of the basic text decorations that you can add to kind of enhance your font selection uh, and start to make your website look a little more custom. You can make the paragraphs have hovers or the H3s have hovers. All of these can have hover effects. And any of these styles can be applied to any of the elements on the page.